Welcome to our final lesson here on Overworked Admin. Um, we're going to be bringing all of the concepts that we've learned about PowerShell together, and we're going to go through our entire uh, script process and write this uh, script that is going to be monitoring our services via PowerShell. So what we have is we're, we've got a blank PowerShell canvas. Um, I've got my services CSV file. We're going to be looking at our print spooler and this uh, BDESVC. I don't even remember that, what that is right now. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through writing this whole thing and we're gonna do it together and then we're gonna see if it works. So we want to see if our print spooler is running. So it, as you can see, uh, my print spooler, I have stopped it. And uh, I don't really remember what the other one is. Uh, some uh, background intelligent transfer system, maybe. I'll have to see what it is. Do that or I'll change it, it's not a big deal. But uh, we'll, we'll test for sure with our print spooler service. So here we go. Uh, we're going to be using all the concepts that we have so far. So uh, we are going to need a couple of variables. Uh, the first thing we're going to need is a variable called scripter. And that is going to be the directory where um, my uh, CSV file is living. And on this server, it's on my desktop. So I'm just going to take this here. I'm going to paste this right in. And the uh, services uh, we are going to be getting from our CSV file. And it, what we're going to do is we're going to do import CSV, if you remember that. And we're going to do scripter. And so what we're doing is we're building the path um, for where our um, service.csv file. Um, so we're going to be actually be building the path to where the uh, service is actually living. So scripter service.csv, okay. And what we will do, it's kind of unusual, it doesn't uh, change color on my, on my system, but we'll see here. Um, so we're going to import this, import CSV. And the next, uh, thing that we're going to need is we're going to need a run variable and we're going to set that to true because we always want our script to continue running. We're going to need a timer because we want our script to run every 300 seconds, which is five minutes. Um, our SMTP server, uh, IP config, um, our, is this particular server. So we'll do SMTP server equals uh, 64.91.254.43. All right, so we have that information. And we have, uh, what else do we need? We need our admin email and email. And this will be uh, Stephen at win or uh, overworked admin.com. And the uh, Admin even the alert email. So the source will be alert at overworkedadmin.com. It's got our source and destination. Uh, we've got our, we're going to need an email body. And we'll leave that blank for now. And we're going to need an email subject. And we'll just leave that blank for now as well. Okay, so uh, the first thing I like to do is clear all the garbage off the screen in case we have any. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a while loop. We spoke about that when we very first started in the PowerShell lessons. And what are we gonna do in the while loop? We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna set this while loop to run as long as this run variable is equal to true. And we are never gonna change that variable. So this script is just going to run uh, permanently. Uh, we are going to go through, and if you remember the for each statement, do our next block here. Uh, for each service in services. So what's this doing? If you remember, when we import this uh, this piece of code right here, I. Um, what we are actually doing is we're importing the contents of the CSV file, right? So we're importing the spoolers, running this BDESVC is stopped, 
and with the tag names of service name and desired status. So for each one of these line items in here, service or spooler BDESBC, um, we're gonna iterate through each one of those. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say service to check, service to check, and we're going to do get services, remember that one, where, so we're grabbing the object of the service, and we're gonna say we want to grab the object of the service where the name is equal to uh, service dot service name. Okay, so now we're grabbing that object and we're putting it into service to check. For our email body, and um, this will be a little bit different on the blog post. I found out that, um, so you can drop your code down to the next line with back ticks, but I found specifically with email, this doesn't work very well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expand the screen here and just say uh, alert, alert, um, service name, I'm gonna do a little opening bracket here and then I'm gonna do our service to check dot display name uh, and we are going to go is down for host name and then what we are actually going to do is we're going to use a new little commandlet uh, and you have the option of using this env variable computer name and basically what that's doing is just grabbing the current environment and getting the uh, current name for you. So I'm also going to, just for the sake of sim simplicity, um, have this be my body and uh, also my email subject, just so I don't have to spend any more creative juices um, generating a new email subject. And so now what we're gonna do is we are going to do an if statement and an else remember the if and the else. Now, um, we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be grabbing this service to check. All right. The service to check, and we are going to grab the status. And if that status is equal to service dot desired status, we're gonna do nothing, right? Um, and just for the sake of this, uh, Right, post, for the sake of this, do nothing. I'm going to put that, just so we can see it right to the screen, if the services are running how they're supposed to be. Uh, obviously in your script, if you when you go to run this as a Windows scheduled task, you're not gonna write anything out to the host, right? There's nobody's gonna be there to see it. So, um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use our send mail message, send mail message command and I'm gonna use the SMTP server, and I'm gonna just grab this variable here, SMTP server, and then I'm going to need a subject, and I'm going to grab email subject. Let me bump that over here. I'm going to need a body, so let me grab this email body here, and yep, they're the same thing. Uh, and then we are going to need a two. And so I'm going to do admin email, because that's where I want to send it. And I want to do from. And do alert email. And I think that that is all we need. Now, um, what I'm going to do here is generally, you know, I would just want this to. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have this sleep. Start sleep. Auto complete fail. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start sleep and I want this to sleep um, for as long as timer. So because we set that timer to 300 seconds, this will sleep every five minutes. Uh, now just for the sake of this demo, I'm gonna send myself some spam. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to switch the timer to three seconds, okay? 
And what I want to do here is when we go and when we send the email, I'm going to do write host uh, send email. So you can see whether these code blocks are hitting. So let's start off and go back to the print spooler. So print spooler is not started, so let me start it. And this, uh, let me just pick another service here. So uh, protected storage, sure, properties. Um, service name, display name, protected storage, great. Well, let's just pick that one and we'll do uh, stopped because that's what it's supposed to be. Um, so we're gonna save this. And now let's just run our script here and see what happens. Oh, I'm missing a closing block somewhere at line 35. So this is telling me that I probably just need another closing bracket. So let's try this again. Okay, so do nothing. So enter that block, do nothing. So now it's looping every three seconds. Now I'm going to start protected storage. And let's see what happens here. Ah, send email. Okay, so we have an error. So the two argument, oh, and it is definitely right. Admin email. So let's, I don't really wanna save this. So let's try it again. So do nothing. So that's the first one, that's the print spooler. Send email. It should do nothing, send email. All right, great, so we know this is working. I'm gonna get a lot of email. Um, so print spooler, let's stop this. And let's try this again. So send email, it's Prince Spooler. Send email, this uh, storage, protected storage. So let me open up my email here, and one moment, I'll just drag this over onto the screen. And uh, let me refresh this. Oh yeah, here, you can see I'm getting a lot of crappy emails. <laughs> so alert, right, and this is the uh, host name that I got. So what's really cool about this script is that you can watch, you know, this is a flexible script, you can run this on any host, right? And you can have any service. So protected storage is down for host name, and this is the host name, right? And you can see that these are all coming in. So protected storage, print spooler, you've got your service, and you've got your host name. So hopefully this series has been really helpful to you. Um, I've learned a lot in developing this PowerShell course. I use these things almost every day for my job now. Uh, with the advent of Windows Server 2012, PowerShell is just going to become more and more important. So um, hopefully this was beneficial. I thank you for sharing. Um, you know, do make sure that you watch the ads. Uh, that's how we make the money to keep this uh, program going. The next series that we'll be doing will be on Linux uh, server tutorials. We will specifically be covering CentOS 6. A lot of times when you find a bunch of Linux tutorials out there, they're really janky and you never really know what version of Linux it's on. So we're specifically covering CentOS 6 um, and it'll be all from the command line. So it'll be pretty basic um, for maybe Windows admins that are just getting into Linux. But thank you for following along with our 14 part series. Uh, next week will just be a wrap up and thanks again for watching here on overworkedadmin.com.